Well guys, today's September 1st. Um, out here in this cutover again that I found uh, the one a couple of days ago and then those two little bird points yesterday. Uh, I haven't put the video up for them yet, but I will. I went to another site and dug for about three hours this morning to pretty much no avail. I found one piece of worked flint or a failed preform, whatever you want to say. So it rained after I got home and ate lunch and I came back out here to this cut over. I said I was going to give it another try after it rained. And I picked up, picked up a couple of square nails and a, a few flint flakes, but I think this is an Albany knife. Uh, it's got a hard bevel on it. Boy, is it thin. I don't know. It may be San Patrice, but it sure looks like an Albany knife. If it's not, it's beveled on that side. It's got to be this. That's got to be what that is, an Albany knife. Boy, if it is, watch out, Cody. L.A. Country Boy, I'm coming for you now. I got these, <laughs> I got the San Patrice coming my way. I don't know. I'll call you in a little while and let you know see what this is. Alrighty, well, we'll get back for y'all, hopefully. Today's September 1st again. Uh, here at the house, it's about 4.30. I decided to call it quits. I dug for about three hours this morning and didn't really come up with anything but this little work preform piece here. Beautiful flint, though, I tell you. It's purple and, and some dark, deep purple and kind of bluish gray up here on top. It's probably some rocks they traded in from uh, Texas or, or somewhere, maybe Arkansas, but... It's just an odd flint because we don't get this around here very often. But uh, if that camera would focus, it'll show you how beautiful this this piece is. So I uh, left there, came home, and it rained a little bit. So I decided to go to a cutover. And, uh, I picked up this this palm wood here. It's like a little scraper. They they work down that edge, just down that one edge right there. As you can see, they worked it down pretty good, so they could use it for something but it's a beautiful piece there I like the palm wood I'm a palm wood lover uh, I found this little ground piece I don't know what it is or, or if even if it's anything but it's a uh, it's black and it's very very polished very polished Let's see if we can show you that there we go you can see just the high high polish but on the back side it's real gritty, very gritty on the back side there, but neat, whatever it is. After I found that hematite piece the other day with uh, Country Boy, I just decided to, to pick up everything and look at everything, so I saw that today and I picked it up. Uh, these are from a, a previous hunt, I, I'm not sure the date, but a while back. Um, same cut over, but uh, it's uh, Friley, broken, missing that wing there. That would have been a killer, a killer Friley. It's so thin. It's got one little tiny piece of cortex on the back there. One, one, just one little bitty piece. Here's a, a Perdiz. This would have been a killer. Well, Paisley, you want on the video too? Huh? She wants in the video. She want, she wants her little, little recognition. <laughs> but either way. We're back here. Uh, this uh, it's Perdiz, but it would have been killer. Those serrations on that thing are awesome. They are fine. But either way, I found a, a tooth, some sort of an animal tooth today. And then the find for the day was this Albany knife I found. Very thin, very well worked. It's ground across the top. It is nice. If this camera will focus, you can see the colors. But I don't guess it's going to. This is about the third or fourth time I've tried to make this video. There we go. But, beautiful colors. Very thin. Well made. It's got a steep, steep bevel on this one side. It's the first... Albany knife or real San Patrice. Well, I found a broken San Patrice digging a while back, but it was broke pretty bad. But this is the closest one that I've got to a full one. But also, I started trying to do a little flint napping. I uh, got me an antler billet and some real rough rocks, and you can see that I have been 
having a heyday with my hand. I have beat my hand in <laughs> pretty bad, but I didn't realize flint napping was so hard, but uh, it uh, it's actually not for the faint of heart, but once I get some good tools, maybe uh, maybe I'll be able to maybe I'll be able to put out some good work. But either way, hope y'all have a good day, and uh, we'll get back with y'all uh, next time on our our next hunt, uh, probably after a rain. All right, see you later.